Welcome back to the channel, Why Not Comics. Today we actually went to a comic book shop in Wilmington and you're not gonna believe what happened. All right guys, we're in Leland and there's a huge flea market in Leland and we're gonna see if we can find some comic books or something cool. So make sure you hit that like button. We've never been here before. Yeah, it's our first time here. It's like about 20 minutes from Wilmington and hopefully we'll be able to find some comic books. So let's do it. No comic books so far, but just some cool vintage cars. What's the number three? Seems like it's a little bit old. All right, guys, no look at that flea market. Um, nothing exciting at all. I'm gonna go grab some lunch at Casey's Buffet and then we're gonna go to a comic shop, so. All right, guys, we're at Fanboy Comics in Wilmington. We're gonna check the place out, see if we can find some cool stuff, some good deals, and some key issues. All right. They got twenty dollars on this X Men number one, and they're not newsstand either. And I thought that was pretty crazy. You don't want to overprice your books because that makes it where I won't come back because that's just that's just outrageous. Comics fun. Let's see if we can find some good deals, some Silver Age comic books. Let's do it. All right, guys, last time I was here, they had a lot of Silver Age ASM, and it looks like they sold a lot of it now. So I do find a cool Kingpin for uh, for $10, not too bad. There's a Hydro cover. Um, so I am looking for just some little bit bigger, little bit bigger keys in this uh, ASM issues, but I didn't see anything I really, really wanted. And I'm actually looking for a uh, Spider Super Story. All right, guys, the first Silver Sable, I think it was like $11, $12. That's like a no-brainer, especially with the Craving the Hunter coming out. That's a good book to invest in, and that sells at my shop all day long. So I'm going to grab that. And uh, like I said, I keep digging. Just looking for some – I don't really know when I before I go what I'm looking for until I find it. Does that make any sense? I just look for decent stuff. If it's the right price, I'll pick it up. That's usually how I work. Everybody's looking for good deals, and this place usually, usually does pretty good. So I dig pretty good. Them newsstands right there is what you want to look for in high grade. So I do keep digging. And the other shop had the X-Men for $20, which is crazy. This shop right here actually had it for, I think, like 6 bucks. I mean, that's where you want to be at. And um, I actually found a big key book here in a couple minutes. I don't know if I get it on camera, but um, you'll see it when I get to the car. So let's sit back, relax, and uh, I'm going to do some digging. All right, guys, a little DC love. Some of this is some gold, golden age DC, which is pretty good. Uh, I just wanted to show y'all a couple of DC books. I know some DC fans on the channel, so I, I do dig through a little bit, let y'all see. This is a little bit of DC stuff. Daredevil. I'm looking for um, some of the 
I'm still looking for number two and number three. So if y'all do have number two or three, let me know. I might might pick it up from you. And um, yeah, anything Daredevil, uh, Silver Age, I try to pick up if they're good prices. So I do keep keep digging, and uh, maybe we can find some else. GI Joe number two. I actually grabbed a couple number ones already. Got some Hulk books. Uh, I was looking for 180, um, but they didn't have it. But I'm still digging. That's a cool little book right there. And I, the Doom cover with the Hulk on it is pretty cool. But well, you should see how Hulk's face looks. I don't know who did the uh, who the artist was at that time, but his face looks kind of funny. That's why I picked it up. Spawn number one, no brainer. I think I was like, I uh, can't really remember. I think it was like 10 bucks, 11 bucks, pretty cheap. Then I pull out a newsstand, so I grabbed that one. That's high grade, too. It's actually really hard to find a uh, newsstand and spawn. So for $11, I, I went ahead and scooped that up. Well, I think it might even be 10 I'm not. Uh, yeah, it's 10 So $10 for a newsstand, that's a no brainer. And here's the X Men I was talking about. I think this is, no, this ain't the right X Men. All right, so I do look for a little bit of keys here, but I'm looking for um, just anything that comes to mind that. Seems like a good deal. That's a pretty decent one. There was uh, number 97 that was in here too. I think it was like 60 bucks, but it's a little too beat up for, for me. Um, I got a, already got two of them. I, I try to upgrade and uh, nothing real good. These John Byrne covers though, if you can pick them up for cheap, go ahead and grab them. People love John Byrne's. Really good with the X-Men. Um, I believe I'm about to find the other... Uh, I was looking for maybe Mr. Sinister, but they had them on the wall. We have a Spider-Man, some Wolverine. Uh, there's number two. I think he was a little bit high on them. Number 88, I think, was on the wall. And then here's the X-Men. Look, six dollars. That's what they should be. Six bucks, not for twenty dollars for a direct. I mean, that's crazy. Y'all know I love um, Omega Red. That one was for twenty, and the other ones for twenty-four. But for, there wasn't newsstands, but um, I did kind of dig through them. I've been grabbing them anytime I can. So, yep. All right, guys, before we get started into the haul, let me tell you what happened. So the store owner was buying a collection, and uh, he went outside to help the, gra the guy grab a couple boxes, short boxes. And uh, he was walking and actually fell on top of the guy's boxes and kind of ruined them. And then didn't want to pay him as much as he, he wanted for him. And he damaged the guy's book, so... I mean, it's kind of a lose-lose situation. The guy, one, that was selling the comic books wasn't too happy because he damaged the guy's books. And then he didn't want to pay as much, and he knew what the condition of the books were before the guy kind of tripped, and he damaged, like, a couple of decent books. I think there was a um, X-Men number 266. Gamby sells in near-mint condition, and he, he kind of bent it and put a huge... I mean, he, he roughed it up pretty good. Now, I will say that the owner never seen the book prior to him falling on it so i don't know how that would even work it was like i said a bad situation i don't know what what, what would you have done if you went to sell you some of your comic books at a comic book shop and the guy damaged them helping you get them in there and then kind of wants to lowball you and say this and that when he's the one that damaged the book so i don't really know what, what would you do in that situation kind of kind of rough situation but um yeah that's that's what happened i thought it was pretty pretty crazy and um all right let me get into this haul real quick show you some stuff i found all right guys found a little x-men newsstand number 119 cool little cover i actually found a couple of newsstands today found a, a pretty decent amount of books and um i grabbed a couple of them so a lot of stuff i already had here's a spawn for ten dollars it's a newsstand high grade very happy to find that so i scooped that up for ten dollars that's a no-brainer um these spawn newsstands are really hard to find and there you go and then we got spawn number one grab this one for eleven dollars and i made a video about the um insert or inside here that uh the first cover they said that it's not as rare as they think it is so i'm gonna open that up and see uh if if there is a um error on that one then we got hulk number 143 then we got a first appearance of silver sable for nine dollars hey babe find anything good Sorry guys, I went to a Goodwill. And then last but not least, we got first appearance of Falcon. He has $74. He gave me a good good little deal on it. He always hooks me up at uh, Memory Lane Comics. And I um, think this is a good book to pick up. First appearance. It's a good book right now because the books are so low right now. When you see him back on the big screen, this book 
that was $74 end up being like 140. So I think it's a pretty good investment. In my opinion, that's just something, the books like this that you've seen on the big screen, big uh, characters like this, go ahead and get them for cheap, especially if you ain't heard much about them. The books start dropping, now's a good time to pick it up. Then some some stuff happens, it starts going up, then you then you sell it. But all right, guys, that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed the content. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a good one. Peace.